Hey there, Latin One. So what we have here is the fifth declension. Same page, actually, page 228 and 267. Uh, but on page 228, they give it to you the whole way. There's no neuters of the fifth. So if you're paying attention, there's no neuters of the first and no neuters of the fifth. It's just neuters of the second, third, and fourth. Now, fifth declension nouns are almost always masculine, but there's a fair amount who are feminine as well. It doesn't really matter in terms of the endings because all of your fifth declension endings are the same endings, okay? And in fact, the song for the fifth declension is just using a word uh, and going with it. Uh, but uh, I promised you a song. I'll give you a song. So here is the thing. So, race, ray, ray, rem, ray, race, rerum, rebus, race, rebus. Now, notice here, uh, oh, you know what? I actually forgot a macro on there. This will be fun. We'll pretend that that went well. So, there's a macro on all the races, okay? So, if you miss them, that won't mess up the grammar. There does need to be a macro on the ray here, otherwise I'll just think you screwed up your stem. Uh, so, the song is actually William Tell. Uh, you probably might remember it as the Lone Ranger, if you have parents who let you listen to, like, uh, radio drama from the 1930s. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, but here's how it goes, okay? Uh, and it goes fast, so I'll try to point along, okay? So, race, ray, ray, ram, and ray, in the fifth declension. Race, ray, and ray, boost, race, and ray, boost, in the plural. It's really fast, so I'll do it again. Race, ray, ray, ram, and ray, in the fifth declension. Race, ray, room, ray, boost, race, and ray, boost, in the plural. I'll do it one more time, because this is literally only a two-minute video. Race, ray, ray, ram, and ray, in the fifth declension. Race, ray, room, ray, boost, race, and ray, boost, in the plural. Now, that's pretty much it for that, okay? You should copy that one down. Also, I put two more words on there for you. There are a couple more in the book you should probably do as well, page 228. One of them is race. One of them is uh, dies. Fun thing about dies could either be masculine or feminine. Usually, dies is masculine, but I've seen it used otherwise. Anyway, the word space, spei, is feminine, and species, speciei, is also feminine. So most, like I said, most of your fits could be masculine or feminine. They will lean toward the feminine though, okay? Uh, so this is the fifth declension. Um, I think you would be very, very good to actually make sure that you copy all these down uh, and make sure that you sing the song. Just rewind it a couple times and make sure you've heard it. Uh, now, for practice, for both the fourths and the fifths, I want you to go ahead and do exercise 25C, okay? 25C helps you practice the fourths and the fifths. Um, and then, yes, everything else is fairly simple translational stuff, okay? I'm going to probably give you a few more paradigms, grammar things, stuff like that uh, moving forward, and then I'll come back around and translate everything for you. So you'll have all the grammar stacked up, and then you'll have uh, all the translations thereafter. Okay? Because we're actually, let's see, there's one more, technically two more uh, lessons, and then uh, we'll just finish it off with persons, uh, which is essentially just pronouns. So there's essentially like three more, maybe four more lessons, and that's, that's it. So uh, everything else after that will be practice and translational. Anyway, have fun. That's the fifth declension. Uh, and I, like I said, do exercise 25C. Um, and that will really help you kind of uh, drive it home. All right, I'm going to hit the button now.